Israelites. We are not Hebrew Israelites. Most are not Hebrew Israelites. You are not Hebrew Israelites. Because we are Adam. Namo We are the original people God created. Yangu po no bo obo hen and son or babe bo Adam. Adam is just six thousand years old. So Onyangu po no bo mono no an obo Adam so. Yes. Onyangu po bo mo black. Obo obo. I think I am African. Uh huh. On one or by Adam, so yeah. Now Adam no a black and a white. Adam was red. Adam was red. Yes. Any evidence? It is because the word Adam is red soil in Hebrew language. Red is Adam. You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, the tallest, and the mightiest African spiritual platform. I'm always Queen Hadasha. Call me Empress Makida. I am Labraska, the sun goddess. I am the war star number eight, the spear of destiny, the true bloodline. Mami Grace, the Driaco, Nabo, Legaya, Jezebel, Jiseswana. Hey, you didn't know so. I welcome you people to another great episode. Today we have a great guest here. Uh, you people are familiar with him. And then also about discuss this say, God damn we asante any ewe. In fact, Africans munye descendant of Adam. Adam say any descendant of Adam any fifi and no need topic na and de oba be discuss me ndi kan ma na kwa ba onye hoho do but me ndi kan ma na kwa ba na afi ah o se owo a little issue with Emmanuel ni episode no so be discuss e ye no na em o de ba no west ark na o be discuss e ye no nti e no so so o be touch base with it nti no me ma na kwa ba na ye wi a na afi ahwe de a e be koso and de papa ye mo kwa ba Medasi. Chia shafono na omuhu na feso sono. Uwa nchia ba akumi yenubi maada nipebia odi ya momu. Ansani ya ba topic niso. Ya nchia shafua omu wa revelation platform. So omu ya the greatest. Omu ma platform. Nusu ya the greatest in the world. Great enlightenment platform. A lot of knowledge flows here free of charge. Whereas other people pay so much for it. And in the past, we struggled hard, read a lot of books before we could get access to them. This time, and it's here, ha, in your information, and Emre, it's the Michia Amon Amoma platform, no, I the greatest. Yo, now Michia, it was a fuso, I'm going to your crew, Monye and Yako, you know, Michia one, on your friends, my classmates, V mates, the other dear mates. Absu mates, Michia Munina, Nanchia Sum Koma, Grand Counselor, Port of Yonan, Obua, Mamina, a lot of books, Obui, Margin, Mopapa, Selectress, and maybe some questions, and I have why Penwa was Mamma de Monconona. Books now, if you're in a mini bureau, it's almost Obua, Mamina, Nimzini P. Down in a asset. Yo, Papa Moakaba. Abusiya say Mr. Um, uh, Martin Kobilafia nu muni muni dada enye onye hoho wa platform yeso enti um, ono no be discuss a topic no or say more blacks mu nye mu fi Adam mu ne pia enti baby mu fi de edru ani ebehu but my partner you said you had issue a little issue with the No West Ark one of our brothers came to discuss what was your issue yeah it is the symbolism of the Ark in your house there or ye Adaka. No one nation on Yadaka or Yashen Moses Mumuna or Ma or Pam Adaka Ark of Covenant and was a box, but Noah's Ark was not a box. Indeed, that is the correct. It was a what? It is, it was a ship or a ship, not a box. No, ship is not a box. What's the difference between ship and a the box? The ship has a streamlined ship, it was a national so or rock. No, it did not know that we tomb or danda no one own but at that can I see a flat now or a rectangular in shape cuboid cuboidal in shape that is or a minimum maybe see I can walk I can move but they were there 
net corners corners and oh yeah and then but four man, square uh, or if, yeah something like four square but hema or no oh yeah since in kakrana if you need shape no yeah it's the chief wa until on another can or any other court and see and then be on an air issue and if he uh domination also there are no dominant Anunu is from the Latin word anum, which is year. You know, see that uh, it refers to dominion. Okay, dominion, anu domino, domino is referring to the Lord. As for the Lord, lords over, overshadow people. They always dominate people and exert influence. In the anunu is year, the year of our Lord. But on your day, on in Sino Marble, for my share, you do. Okay, is that all? Oh, now, if you know, say there, a share. I will probably wash your name, no, my new foot, new year full moose, or no, say there. Oh, yeah, the number six. But if you're number six, and I'm not yet a shab of Rabana, not yet eight to two nine, son, if you know, eight to two nine, so if you know, today, you're the man, son, and that thing is not a human being, it will be dead. It will be a uh, human being without a. Obey to them, Galamsim from Manibi. Ah? Obey to them, Galamsim from Manibi. Or what to say? Galamsim from Man, who didn't wonder over one of the Winya, Winya Bassa. Really? Yeah. You didn't so, so we will be a or a P. I didn't hear. Uh, a genetic disturbance. Galamsim? Yeah, Galamsim chemicals um, or disturb how a nano no she poop you up from no way you fool them. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Ebusia Emmanuel Oniha, and I cannot speak on his behalf, but I would call daddy and I will call uh, Emmanuel, my brother, also to come so we can sit and dialogue together. Ni who will be any source, ni will be any explanation. I don't like talking about, I, I don't like talking behind people, especially say, ni panibam me platform so dear. Your man, all the opportunity. Ti ebe fre Emmanuel, it will be a beautiful conversation. Ni ene nakasana ya fre Mr. Fianu tunu waba. Ni ene inaya tuna sena ya dialogue na ya shwe se galamse mofrano how far. Yebe huyum. And in numerology, you know, so the number nine is what stands for a person, a human being. Not the six, but it is nine. If nine stands for a human being, yeah. which number stands for God? Uh, in in uh, in numerology, if you in, are saying in, nine in the Pythag for in the Pythagorean system, one it's one that stands for God, and nine stands for human beings. Yes, uh, and you're saying and uh, no numerology for almost system. No, is that, that is the Pythagorean numerological system, because Pythagoras was also in the system. In actual fact, no mathematics not developing. It was a spiritual system. Do not just calculating angles. Which one? Which like. one connects with Africans? It is the Pythagorean system. That connects with Africans. Yes. Why? Because Ono Kusian or Egypt. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you connect with Africans. Yeah, that's what. Connects okay, your topic Africans. is quite huge, isn't it? No, me taking much of your time. The entire I will say, the Ga Adangwe Asante and Ewe Anglo Fono are not the descendants. Omo nye Israelite. Normal near descendant of Adam, is that correct? Yeah, that is that is it. Only the three tribes we are now to say no, the whole of those of us in Africa. But are you saying the whole Africa is about Ga Adangbe Asante? No, it is just because Ga Adangbe Asante and a person will be no more said that we are Hebrew Israelites. And until now, point you, uh -huh, that is it. Two parties, Omo Tiasi, I say, Aha, the we are not Hebrew Israelites. Most Amos Omo Kahubi. You are not Hebrew Israelites no, because Adam. Namo We are the original people God created. Adam. Adam is just six thousand years old. So Adam so. Yes. black. I think I am African. Uh huh. Adam so. Yeah. Now Adam no a black and a white. Adam was red. Adam was red. Yes. Any evidence? It is because the word Adam is red soil in Hebrew language. Red is Adam. Okay. Your topic is blacks are not descendants of um, Adam. Yeah. 
and the Ghana, Adangbe, and Ashanti, and Ewes are also not, not Israelites. Oh, they have. So please take us through. Yeah. So yes, she, creation story now. The original source in Hebrew, Mpenyufon, Asafon, was far from Babylon. From the epic of Gilgamesh, the one who picked it in the defeat. He called it flood, flood story. In the original Babylonian creation story. In the other way, 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 in the other just like all other traditional priests, yeah, a confuna that was the one in or you call what a regina a fafuna that was the one in an woman with shanty go through. They don't write it, they don't write it anywhere. We do go through now. It's too much. I can't say if you through now. Brad, not the book of Nature, Jew, Fum, Penny, Fun, on your call Babylon. A one who they say one throw at the na, it be a bo na we nim de be a person which ras and I could feel you, because na we be no way they can watch long Assyrians, we they can chill the ten tribes and which was the northern kingdom, on what coin one son one son which ramba, you see that is what is making people refer to them as the lost tribe of Israel. It is bra ju a ju angwana or Judah wants to watch her on the book of nature children on them and now we should also be a one thing here was a best show today one penny for now with you when you can walk nothing kingdom on the moon see a whole enough we wash us in a watch row Bible Old Testament now to run wash us a children or and now at this one you're there every tribe tries to tell people their own story of creation, how they originated. Every tribe has its own origin story. As Antifu will be, Srimfu will be, Efefu will be our one is this. Now, Jew for words, only now say, say, I will watch the way go, Old Testament to my, you can go, Genesis, or you can't suffer, Jew for no one, because I want you. Or you can be, they wrote it for everybody else. Because as Antifu washes them, we see our bearing. They write it for their own people and they don't circulate it. Now, Jew for World, then it, became, it came into circulation because of the colonization that the Europeans took advantage of it to use it to colonize people. What Kafa Jew for World story, now World Sun, what Dandan, the Kakra, what the Kanabro, Fulu, what the Nong, then they started circulating it. And I was the Utum, Omahon, Tuma. What the Z in Crawfordo, baby or book be an they use their religion with the aim of trying to spread the gospel. And the original motive was not to spread the gospel, but was to enslave people and get a lot of money, exploit the people around them and enslave. That was the admission of going around. But they used their religion as a pretext. And on my what the was of one with the can what the quay, what my would the as often easy way him. So as often do we in we are now what the asoda for so yes when you make chance now politicians and if you know what can capture and grow on then that is what they did so they use their religion as a medium of enslavement and colonization now what the religion was the battle who told my own yabba pet no the woman it f awards and now woods and the night at watching so that is it that is why the religion of the jews has spread so much so okay, it was forced. Yes, it was forced on people. They took advantage of it to use it to take what was for the Jews. Because the Jews were trying to tell their own children about themselves. And as they know so there, what we tell our children is very important. Because I know no debate you don't say about the bobacat and about the baneco. But let me ask this say, who, who, if you are trying to say that mm -hmm. Adam and Eve creation is for the Jews. Is that correct? Yeah, they, if, they developed it to tell the how they their own think. story. Yeah, their own. So story. how is our we blacks? You said we are not part of the Adams. Uh -huh. So how is our own story like? Now, when you look into the Bible, it is coded in the Bible. 
in the sense that there are two creation stories. The first creation story starts from Genesis chapter 1. If you're Genesis, it ends at chapter 31. But in actual fact, it should have ended at verse 35. Because the other part has been incorporated, cleverly incorporated into chapter 2. Where it ends at verse 3, chapter 2, verse 3. Then in chapter 2, verse 4, that is the time the story of Adam comes in to try to explain how they, the Jews came into existence from Adam's line. But before Adam was born, before Adam was created, there were already people created. And those people created, we see the creation in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, where Elohim said, let us create man in our own image and likeness. So male, female, he created them. The word Elohim is plural. Oh yeah, I may be and I bought I want all bad a being They are three. They are more than one. They are three. Yeah, more than one. So a kura or an L. But the moment Elohim comes, then it becomes plural. And we take a look at it in the sense that a single male factor cannot give birth. A single female can give birth through pathogenesis in certain areas. But a male can never give birth. So if it is true that a single creator gave birth, then that creator was not a he, but was a she. Because out of the woman, so many, the woman lays eggs that can create itself, that can generate life. But a man cannot, without female, can never generate anything. In say, one, the power of women have been taken away and that is why the world is in turmoil because the balancing factor is gone Abribia, people create the impression that god is a male no there can be in africa here we talk about ata no more in the grand tradition then in every tradition we talk about mauga sobolisa kitikata so is a kitty kata. The kitty kata is the female part. Then in Akan, it is Kyrgyzstan from Kwame Asase. When you mention Kwame, then you mention Asase. Asase is the female. Kyrgyzstan from Kwame is the sky god. That is the male. So the male should certainly combine with the female to be able to generate. So there is a shortfall somewhere. That, that, now we want to know um, the creation of we the blacks. Yeah. Since we are not from Adam, and yeah, everybody is, listening to us know that Adam is the first man ever. Yeah, created. it is because the second part has been made to overshadow the first part, which explains how God created Elohim created male and female human beings. And in the Hebrew tra in the Hebrew vocabulary, they use two different words to de designate the place. When it is said that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, the earth, the Hebrew word there is Eretz. But when it comes to the creation of Adam, where the water was, in fact, in the, according to the first stage of creation, each day had something created. Systematically, it was a systematic creation until human beings were created, male, female, not only a single person, but male, female were created on the sixth day in verse, chapter 1, verse 26. There were several people and they were put on land that was referred to as Ereds, where the waters initially covered the uh, land and then the waters were made to separate and the sea was made to draw away from uh, the land and dry land came. Then after the dry land came, Plants were made to appear on it. Then later, crawling animals were made to also appear together with all the four-legged and all other animals. And then the sea also was made to also generate its own life. And then when human beings, mankind, was created on the sixth day, God told them that they should use all those things to feed themselves and that they should also multiply. So the, the 
idea that sex was what was used to bring sin into the world is wrong. Because on the sixth day, that is the first set of creation. Male, female were created on the same day in equal numbers to match one another. So they didn't create one person? No. They, uh, they created a lot of people? Yeah, a lot day. of people on the sixth day. Like how many? Oh, play a lot. Millions. God created them? Yeah, God created and them. And placed them at where? On the land where the land that is referred, that is mentioned, that has the Hebrew terminology, Eretz. It's Eretz different from the Garden of Eden? Yes. The Garden of Eden mm. was created at Adam, Adama, which is red soil. And they were white? They no. were red? Uh, yeah, it is. Adam was created with red clay. Continue. Yeah, so the word Adam means red, red soil. And we, we were created out of yeah, black we were, soil? Yeah, we were created in the true image and likeness of Elohim. Elohim? Yes. Elohim created us? Yes. How sure are you? Yeah, that is what is in the Hebrew, the Hebrew script. Should we believe it? No, what I'm saying, I'm not the one generating No, I mean it. the Hebrew script. Should we believe it that the Elohim created blacks and we are like God's image? Are you saying the Elohim is the creator of this universe? Is that what you are saying that right now? I'm talking about what the Bible t is teaching. No, the Bible tells us that mm. Elohim created Adam and Eve. Now we are saying no. we are not their generation. No, what? There are two creation stories. Unfortunately, I don't have people reading a... When there are two creation stories... I understand. The two yeah. creation stories, you have explained Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And you are explaining blacks. Yeah, our and own I'm saying story, that... Before, and you are saying Elohim created blacks. Yes, according to the... I'm using the Hebrew... That's Hebrew. why I'm asking, do you yes. think we should believe the Hebrew text as well, well? That is what is popularly accepted. Should we believe it? Well... That is what we are being, that is what is okay, being circulated. Okay, so uh, based on your knowledge, mm -hmm. are you saying that the Elohims are the creator of this universe? The Elohim yes. is what has been used in the Hebrew language as... The creator the of creators. this universe. The, the yes, Eros is yes. so much. But have you, have you defined Elohim? Have you gotten, uh, like I mean, what call Elohim word, Elohim nimu? And who those who call themselves Elohims? The Elohim, you have much, the much knowledge about that. The Elohim, the Elohim is the Canaanite, the, the Canaanite rend, uh, rendition. No, the Hebrews also took it from the Canaanites. You are watching the biggest and the largest. These things, eh? Are you serious? Because that is what has been used to introduce to us. Other than that, we just have to go to our comedic source. And then so that's why I'm, uh, you read a lot. So I'm asking you, mm -hmm. what the, this text is telling us? Should we believe it? That's what I'm asking you. We, that it's only that, as I said, each group of people have their own way of talking about how the universe came into existence. Yes, and this is what you are telling us. And I'm asking you, based mm -hmm. on your knowledge, should we believe that the Elohim's created we, no, that, the blacks? No, the Elohim... Because you are saying we are mankind. The Elohim, Elohim is only being used to refer to the creator beings that the Hebrews used. Do you, do you, have you done any research about the word Elohim? Elohim. Yes. Yeah, the Elohim, as I said, is from the Canaanite tradition, making... Uh, multiple gods. Yes. So are you saying cr the creator is multiple... Yeah, the, no, here, when you talk about the creator, it's referring to the positive and male and female creative forces. But the Elohim, they are more than two. That's why I'm asking no, you if you've made more research about this Elohim no, thing. No, when, when you take a look at how it is used in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, it is making, making reference to the male and female because... Mankind was created in the image and likeness of the male and female factors. In the Bible, I, I, I would love you to leave the Bible aside because mm -hmm. 
the Bible will debunk what you are saying. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Because according to the Bible, they created only Adam and, and later realized that Mibao, mm -hmm. and later realized that Adam is alone. But they created the Mwawa Mwawa in her too. And but later they realized that Adam was alone before they took Eve out of Adam. And as I said, that so, is the second that is the second creation story where Bishop Usher, Bishop James Usher, and other people who believed in the create uh, the the creation story as being real, like Isaac Newton used it to calculate and then came out with the date that Adam was created in 4004 BC. 404 BC. That is the date from what the calculations they did based upon the genealogical information there. I don't so Adam, Adam came into existence in 4004 I, I don't BC. even care about Adam. I care yeah. about me. Yeah, and so, you. As I said, yes, we we came earlier. We came earlier, but yes. you are saying the same Elohim created. And I that's know. Where my, my, my I, and um, is. as I said, we if we are to go according to that, we should just ignore the Hebrew one, because we are familiar <laughs> with the Hebrew. That is why I'm using that. And use what if we should ignore? Yeah, the Hebrew we then Elohim's. have to go to the our own ancestral source. Of and use what? Go and find it and come and give us. The, our ancestral of course okay all right go and find it and come and give us me i i disagree if anybody tell me mm -hmm. as a black woman yeah. a pretty black woman that elohim created me he cannot elohim. because me god created the creator created me in his image and like yeah I believe. no he it's like it's, it's male and female that's what i'm saying that yes. the creator created me yeah. in his image or her image and like uh, he she uh, he she yes. uh, he she, uh, he she. Uh, energies do, don't have gender no do the they thing have is gender they reflect it's just energies the, the the gender is reflected in us here on earth uh, this mechanism and the creator doesn't have mechanism that's he it is because that is where that is why implants all manifestations on earth is segregated into I believe I believe in this male and female energies. Mm -hmm. I do believe. Yeah. But when you 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 take out this mechanism, that it ends gender gender issue. No, but we are we are manifesting on the physical plane. When you are manifesting on the physical plane, Th that is where gender matters. Yeah, that is where it comes So in. if Very you good. tell me God is a he she, I don't get it no, because it, 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 energies it, but it, I, now no, you let's leave that in one manifestation. In manifestation, I believe, yeah. because in this realm, yeah. in this realm, mm -hmm. that is how we supposed to And we to are work. manifesting in this realm, so the energies have to manifest. So we should say God is a, uh, the creator is a he she. It's both. <laughs> Anyways, you no problem. It's now both. give us the history and why you are saying God, Dangwe, Asante, uh -huh. are not Hebrew because they believe that they are Israelites. It is. They are Hebrews. They give histories, and you are saying we are it not. It is unfortunately. At this time, we are beginning to teach myth as history, which is unfortunate. Myth is an anasism. We are now beginning to incorporate an anasism and we are enforcing it as, as, as history, which is wrong. Mr. Fianu, is it not the same thing you just did? No, what you I'm saying... You are telling us that Elohim it created is, us no, black. No, as I said, it is because I'm making reference to the Bible and that, that is where it is in there. To make it peop for people to be able to understand. Mm, continue. Uh -huh. Other than that, we were created by the creative forces of the universe, which actually has nothing to do with the religion. The people of religion are taking a look at how things are manifesting and use it to explain things their own way. When you go into science, science also looks at life and begins to explain it in a, another way. The better thing is to go into metaphysics. Then you can question things. So we have to begin to incorporate metaphysics where scientific principles are used to analyze things that have some religious uh, inclinations. If we leave that part, part out, we, we will certainly go astray and make a lot of errors. So, for example, the, the Ga Adangbe name is supposed to have come from Gad and Dan tribe which is not correct. Then the Ashanti, some other people, somebody came here one day and said the Ashanti come from the Asa tribe. Meanwhile, we know that from our history. We know that the Ashanti means Ashanti. 
the people were united because of war to be able to fight other people and protect themselves and to protect yourself you there are two aspects to it aggression and then protection so whilst you are protecting yourself you must also learn how to be aggressive and attack people so attack and defense is the is the game so the asantis were united by Okonfanoche to be able to defend themselves against external forces especially as at that time that they got together the whites were coming in with their uh, machine guns and their uh, guns and gunpowder so the people got united to be able to protect themselves against this very aggressive dangerous weapon at that time our people were using spears bows and arrows so Okonfanoche with the spiritual wisdom got them together so they were united because of Asa, because of war. Asanti means because of war and not coming from the Asa tribe. So when you begin to take a look at etymology, one can actually make a, a lot of errors in it because you look at the way words rhyme and you can quickly find direct translation. Other, yes, other ones into it and then develop something that will let it seem very perfectly right. A friend of mine used to, when we were at school, he used to tell stories about the origin of words. That's the etymology of certain words. Let me chip this in any way. It's like something like mankani. He said the word mankani came because there was a time what a certain white man came looking for gold and was roaming around for a long time, couldn't get gold. And he came across somebody who was digging some roots from the soil. He went and after three hours, he came back and saw the person still kneeling and still digging the roots from the soil. See, then he made the comment, hey, this man can kneel. And then he said, man uh -huh, <laughs> uh, this man can kneel. And then he man can kneel. This man can kneel. This man can kneel. This man can kneel. Man can kneel. <laughs> and a man goes, so I say, another time, man, also, when you buy a witch now, I'm a comedian. No, who then I'll be for baby war, Mango, the other, and Mango, no, so no, I'll be like a sack of sacks. No, get there, man, go, man, go, go up, man, go, go and get that fruit for me. No, I'm not trying to mango. Aha. You are watching the biggest. That is etymology. Where they are mafia, a mafia Japuni, or see a ye, or cost so tommy, cost toma, or cost so tommy, and no, yeah, a cost toma, and ah. Kianiki and the Danny King James. My friend, I'm Banana Muffin. Say, yes, etymology. I am for what I say, etymology. What I am for your pet was the way she etymology now. What the Waka can't say, be seeing you now, or better than some. Say, I'm going to be feeding the nine. If you say now, I am someone on your kiss here. Yeah, so back to our discussion. So the now we know about the gun down way we know the asante uh -huh. and Ewe. it's, it's the, left with Ewe the, and yes uh, the actual name god that we came from three tribes in actual fact the ever is Be. the ever people when collectively you put them together they are the Be people so what happened is that in east africa that is where our ancestors were and migrated over here there is a certain Egyptologist who has done a lot of digging in South Egypt and came across, the man is called Dr. Browder. And in fact, he's even come to Ghana here and has been made a chief at Kormanse. Because he's a historian and is actually digging our African roots. He dug a cave, uh, a tomb in South of Egypt and came across a symbol which is exactly like that in crowd we have. And the tomb, the owner of the tomb was called Karakamen. I will later find it and then. Yeah. So the Adinkra symbols came from that one of them, the one with the coil, was found in the tomb. It was in the ceiling. It was drawn on the ceiling. And he became surprised because he also saw a similar thing in the U.S. Because he's a, an African-American. He saw a similar thing in the U.S. and now was able to trace where it actually came from. So what he did was 
he has been able to map out and actually found out that, just like our ancestors said, there were six migrations from East Africa. And each time attacks were made, people moved. And the attacks came from several people, the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, and then finally the Muslims. And even our own people from Ethiopia, King Idana, when he became a Christian, attacked the people in Meru, in Kush. Hmm. He is the one, it's King Idana who destroyed the, Kush, the Kushite kingdom. He was the last straw that broke the camel's back. And then it pushed our people to move westwards to come and then reestablish themselves. And that is all gave birth to the Ghana Empire. That is why the Ghana, Songhai, and Mal, Ghana, Mali, and Songhai empires are referred to as the Western Sudanese empires because the people who created it were from the east, which is the actual area called Sudan. Sudan is an Arabic word, which means land of black people. Then the whole area, not the current Ethiopia alone, but the whole area was also called Ethiopia by the Greeks because the word Ethiopia means people with bent faces or bent skin. Then later, when it, the Ethiopians became independent, they picked the name. Before then, they were called Abyssinia. So the country being called Ethiopia is a recent adoption. Hmm. So from there, the Gans moved the Gans, the Gbe, and the uh, uh, Gans, Adan, and the Gbe people formed a triune state. So it is Gans, Adan, and Gbe people who then combined and were there, and that is what came out with the name Gans, Dangbe. Because when you put the three words together, Gans, Adan, and Gbe, when you want to pronounce it, you you nationalize it, mm, ga, adang, then so the mm came in. So currently to the mm now has gone out and the gbe, the adang gbe, the gbe has now turned into me, adang me. That is the current spelling. So the three people got together, they were together until the attack started coming. Then they started moving. So the Ga and then the Efe moved roughly around the same time and followed contiguous tracks. So they moved from East Africa, in the, from the Nile Valley, came to the Niger Bend and settled there for some time with the Yoruba people. Then later, after some time, they also continued towards the West and came to Moche, settled there for some time, and then they also moved. So wherever they go, they even leave some of their own people there. So when you go to Nigeria right now, there are some guns there, and then there are efforts in, within the Yoruba community. I've asked for Noche, we've been there for um, the quest of mm -hmm. Akabula. We went to capture the whole uh, place of uh, Togbi. Uh, yeah, I, I have you watched, watched it. Yeah, I've so watched we've it. Been it there was very where, educative, yes. Yes, where With the, the Agokoli Agokoli wall, shrine, yeah, we've been there. The thick wall there. Yes, yeah, I have, we've been I've there. It. We went there and then we went to Benin as well. Then also, some people also make the mistake of thinking that because of that indoctrination, people think the kingdom of Judah was in West Africa. And they are coming up with all manner of strange maps that is trying to locate Jerusalem and the kingdom of Judah in West Africa, which is totally wrong. And it is a German error. A German came there and Veda. Veda, how to spell it became a problem. Uh, where, where they have that slave to Veda. Yeah, uh, We've been there too. Yeah. So the Veda is what now has, is people are, especially our cousins in the Togo. U.S., no. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. The black Africans. Yes, no? they black are the Americans. ones who are getting confused, and that confusion is also coming because of identity. A lot of them don't know. Even when they come to Africa here, they don't know where they come from, and if you don't know where you, you come from, you try to create a place for yourself. Because he 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 belong here. Yeah, he belong here. So yes. he has to create inhabitant for himself. Uh -huh. And because of the indoctrination, the Bible Bible indoctrination, it has made them now claim that they are Hebrew Israelites. But in actual fact, when you say Hebrew Israelites, you are trying to create a, a, a name that is, in, that is a misnomer in the sense that if you say Hebrew Israelites, it means 
you have a, a distinct group of people who are Hebrews and another distinct group of people who are Israelites. And when the two of them meet and combine and bring offspring, they, you, they combine the relationship between the two or characteristics of but the two. But on a more serious group. note, yeah. what about Jerusalem? Because some of us know our, uh, our origin is also from Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is in Israel now. So if they are saying they are Israelites, I don't know, I don't see what, because when you check our backgrounds and our origin, baby is right. Like Jerusalem place, Nankasa, is for us. Yeah, what happened is that way back in ancient times, people from Egypt used to help the kings of Judah to resist Assyrian attack. Our people never enslaved the Israelites. It's is never true. That concept of Israelites being enslaved in Egypt is a, it's a false story. The history doesn't support it. Rather, what happened is anytime they are in difficulty, they run here for help and we give them uh, assistance. So right now we've got, gotten the Gandangbe. Mm. We got in the Ga and the Adan and then mm. Ewe, Ewe people in the Agan, Aga Adangwe. What happened to the Asantis? The Asante are a conglomeration of different people. Some people, some of their roots is from the Wolof people from Senegal. Some too are Soninke people. Others are this, the uh, Mali, people from Mali. All no, it is this war that started making them come together. And then they finally migrated into the forest zone. And all of them are not descendants of Adam. They don't belong. No, as I said, that Adam story is something which the Jews created for themselves. And as so, so, and so, one so thing the is, Israelite thing no, and yeah. the Hebrew thing, no, they should, blacks should understand that it has got nothing to do with it. Yes, them. in the sense that, look at the age. The Jews take that is the Israelites take their descent from Abraham. And Abraham was born around 1986 BC. Not too long ago. So when you look at it, from the time of creation to Abraham is approximately when their scribes were doing the calculation. From the, cre from the time of Adam to Abraham is approximately 2,000 years. Then from Abraham to two, the end of the kingdom of Judah is another roughly 2,000 2, years. So Abraham is in the middle. And Abraham is the father of the Hebrews, the Israelites. So if he himself was born 1986 BC or thereabout, he's a very young person. Before he grew up, people were here already here in Africa. We have been living here for more than 7 million years before Abraham was born, and then before his descendants also now became... Are you sure these Christians will be happy with you, with what you are saying? That it is the truth. You cannot do anything about the truth. It, has, it is scientifically proven. That is why a lot of people, a lot of the Christians don't want anything to do with science. Initially, people like Galileo, Johannes Kepler, Taco Brahe, and those, when they started studying the atmosphere, and then from the knowledge they gained from the Egyptians and said, Earth is not the center of the universe. A lot of them were executed. Abraham himself suffered persecution. But because he was supported by the Medici family of Italy, the church put him to trial and asked him to uh, withdraw his recant. But it is said that the day the, the final judgment was given and he descended from the high table, the high judgment area was coming. He muttered under his breath. But after all, it is the truth. Because he said <sighs> the sun is the center of uh, our solar system and that the earth is rather what goes around the sun and not the sun going around the earth. Now, when you look at the creation story, as mentioned in the Bible, this is the picture it gives. The earth is supposed to be flat. Then there is a dome. Then a firmament was made, was created to separate the waters of the ground from the waters of the uh, uh, skies. And now anytime God wants it to rain, he opens a window and then the, rain, the water mm. from there pours through to hey. come to earth. So that is the story we were told, you know. And that is also what, when one reads the Noah's Ark story, 
it is said that the windows of heavens were opened and the water poured down and then the water the fountains of the ground too were opened and then uh, water from the ground popped up mm -hmm. now when we go into that you get to see that like the adam garden of eden thing the bible tells us that god god planted planted the garden to the east because already he had created earth earth so the garden of eden was to the east of the original dry land which means the original dry land was to the west of eden if that is a place who were the people living there and where did Cain get his wife from is that not what they are saying? Say, oh, oh, free as I see in school, no, and you know, so many people are not profit as I saw that. The king went and married a black woman, yes. King came to where there were people already to pick somebody as wife, and those were the people created in the image and likeness of God. Adam is the energy of Adam is expired uh, energy. God breathed, God first, God molded Adam with red clay and then breathe into him the breath of life when you aspire it is not actually even healthy for me to breathe what you are giving out so adam is made from pre-existing material and adam was not created in the image and likeness of god because adam was molded with earth red clay. and how were we created yeah that is it we were created in the image and likeness how, how? Of were we called it was just that is what is stated in the uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. That and God said, let us create man, mankind, Adasa. So we were also created? Yeah. The same way Adam was created? No. So what's the difference? The we, difference is that... Adam was created with, with uh, red, a, clay. A red clay. Yes, and with pre-existing material. Uh -huh. And then they breathed... And then, then God breathed expired energy into, into him. Into him. Yeah, 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 How created were we in the image. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, let us create a and, uh, and we were there. And then yeah, and then God created according to the Bible. No? Ah, he didn't call us. He created us the same creation. Uh no, Adam was molded with the and red we tree. were we were just like in the beginning in the beginning God said let there be this and it came until it gave it got to genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and said he said later then god called the counterparts let us create mankind in our image and so how were your boy and saying omu modi omu tutu ye omu frey and say yembra that what i'm people say me what can i be there according to the bible no i say yanko ponka say yang yang bo nipa adasa wa yeseso to boy and say i don't know the bible does not explain it there mm. hey okay uh, papa genesis chapter 1 verse 26 because i so how exactly he did it that's why it's not explained and i'm only limiting myself to what is what is the there. bible is stating. okay so right now mm -hmm. that's where you are limiting yourself to yeah how what uh, now tell us make the people who believe they are hebrews and israelites some are even saying they are spiritual israelites and spiritual Hebrews and everything there, they is, are there is nothing like that they themselves are saying they are Hebrews you are also saying it's not and, no, like that. and we are taking a look at technical definitions okay so prove it to them put uh -huh. all of it together yes. then we are done a person who is a Hebrew is somebody who traces his descent through the male bloodline directly up to Abraham uh, Jacob to Isaac and then to Abraham that is what is there according to the Hebrews. Because they are a, a strict patriar patriarchal society. So if you don't directly connect to Abraham, you don't belong to them. But you can adopt their religion. When you adopt their religion, then it is just like how we have become Christians. You becoming Christian doesn't mean you can call yourself an English person. You have only practicing their religion. So there are people who are practicing the J Jewish religion. But they are not direct Jews. They are Jews by adoption. Okay, maybe those are the people who maybe you would see that they are spiritual Israelites. Because somebody from America can come and learn Akan customs and be initiated into the Akan traditional system and even be initiated as, um, 
as an Okonfo, a priest or a priestess. Akonedi used to do that. But that doesn't mean somebody who has been initiated into the Akonedi system and is empowered to become an Akonedi priest or priestess, but is an American, automatically becomes a latte. No. Maybe that person can say I'm a spiritual latte if, it, if there is anything like that anyway. Okay. Mm. So, so make them understand, put it together why they should understand that they are not yeah, Israelites as I or Hebrews. Said, a Hebrew and an Israelite are one and the same people. They bear the same name. The language they speak is Hebrew. But they are children of Israel because Jacob, it is the name of Jacob that was changed to become Israel. So all the children of Jacob now became known as the children of Israel and they are the Israelites. Okay. So they speak the language which is Hebrew and then by virtue of linking to Jacob whose name is Israel, you become a child of Israel. So the God, Adangwe and Asante and Ewe should understand that they are not descendants of... They should go back to the Bible and read it well for them to know where they come from. Okay. As I said, before Adam was created, Africans were already in existence. Adam is only 4,000 years old. When you add it to 2,000, it's just 6,024, 4,004 plus 2,024. So it is 6,228 6 years old. That is the age of Adam from now. But before then, we were already in existence. Our people are very old, far, far older than that. So the original knowledge, we have it. So how do we find it? Because your knowledge you gave about Elohim was mm -hmm. wrong. So how no. do we find the original knowledge? No, what I'm saying knowledge? is it is a Canaanite way of looking at life. I understand it perfectly. Uh -huh. Now we are looking for the original way, like you said. We, we don't want anybody to, to use mythology for, uh, to treat, uh, to teach us uh, our history. So we are now trying to find out. Yes. The funniest aspect of this whole thing is that because we as blacks, you know, we don't do a lot of things about our culture and the rest. When somebody tries to promote somebody's culture, no tribalism. You see, we have unique kind of culture and all that. But the entire nye ye niyamano. Ninti so bi yese oka ayibifuwa semtisiya ebe dani tribalism. Obi yese oka asante fuwa semtisiya. So how do we get to, how do we get back to the original yeah, history? Yeah, we, we have to get to know that. This division is only political. It is a recent thing. In the past, we were not divided. It is recent political thing which is dividing us. And it is this divide and rule tactics which we have to do, take that off and try to actually tell ourselves that we are one and the same people. When you, you go among the guns, we have Ankara. Ankara is derived from Ank and Ra, which is from Kemet. Ankara is from Ankh and Ra. Pepra, Pepi was an ancient Egyptian king. When you add Pepi and Ra, you have Pepra. Then among the Evers, we have Ametefe, Amenhotep. Senu, when you get into Egypt, you have it. Even Shemu, Shemu is an Egyptian word. It's one of the, it is a season for harvest, which is called Shemu in Egypt. So now how do we get back to our... Own? We must get back to history and dig up and learn the proper thing. Our archaeologists have it. Let us get back to them and let them come out with the information which we, not, we should not spread in our schools. Okay. We are learning the foreign one that has been sifted. Currently as it is, the history that I learned in school, which says that the Akan are three groups. And the first group to migrate to the area we have now are called the Guans. But this time, when we are talking about Akans, we don't want to add the Guans to them. But Guans are Akans, hmm. according to the history that I learned at school. We have the Guans, the Fanti, and the Cree were the last group to migrate into, the, into where we call Ghana today. You, Papa, your last words to hmm. the public. Yeah, we should do away from mythology, which is from the Bible. The Bible, there are a lot of analysis in it. We should get back to the real origins. The real origins have been dug up by archaeologists. Even when you go to Israel today, Professor Finkenstein, for example, has a lot of problems with this, some of his own colleagues because he tells them that there is no proof that the Israelites were enslaved. In, in fact, they never existed in Africa. 
They were never, in fact, nothing, even the exodus didn't happen. And there is archaeological proof. And there are other archaeologists who are trying to prove that Professor Finkenstein, who is, an, who is a pure Jew and is a lecturer in the university in Tel Aviv right now, when he publishes his material based upon scientific findings with carbon, carbon, carbon 14 dating to prove the sources of his information. Mm. Now, his own people sometimes even fight him. God, some of them think that he's making people not uh, actually use the Bible as a source of material. But everything there is, cannot be taken as fact. A lot of myth is there. And even the scribes who composed the Torah and other parts picked information from Babylonian sources to use it to incorporate into the, their stories. So uh, some of the information there is not even original. It's mm. picked from other places to compose. The, for example, the story about Moses being found in a river. Uh, Sargon the Great also has a story which he himself wrote. And Sargon lived about 1,000 years before Moses was born. And he said that his mother cast him in a reed basket on the Euphrates River, and the river took him to the backyard of the king of Babylon, and then the gardener, chief gardener, looked after him. And it is from there that he became a great warrior and became king finally after conquering the nearby traps. Mm. <clears throat> when we actually get back to history, it is the information is real, authentic facts, not conjured information. Yesterday, for example, I came across somebody who was saying that Matusela was 969 years old. I said, no, those calculations the world hasn't changed from those period up to now. 6,000 years, the bones of people, old people who have been found are still there. They've done carbon, carbon dating. There are no, a lot of them died when they are about 40, 50 years. And when you do the dating too, it's not more than 6,000 years old. So how can anybody have lived longer than that? Six, okay. 669, 969 years, mm -hmm. getting to almost 1,000 years. It doesn't tally. No, at all. Hmm. And the person looked at me with an eye, which made, me, which made it seem like I was somebody who was not correct in the head or something. <laughs> 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 I said, well, uh, yo, Papa, thank you so much. Just, so just like the way people try to attack you without getting to the root of what you are saying, when they get to know the fact, they will get to see that what you, you have been trying to mention and things is not fabricated. There are authentic information to them and they can be dated. They have historical evidence. Archaeologists have been able to support them with their data. That is the beauty of it. If you tell lies, it can be easily be exposed. But because now internet is all over, yes, you it, can't you, actually... Anytime be, you tell lies, it can easily, the yeah. lies can easily be exposed. Mm. You know. God have mercy. But you are doing a lot of work. You are opening people's eyes a lot. Me? Yeah. God help me. What, what those days we used to hide to say, you are, we are now able to say openly. Because what I'm saying is not a new thing. I used to say it way back when I was in secondary school, in the 70s. Because I came across this information in the Legon libraries. How can you tell a Christian that he doesn't come from, he's not a descendant of Adam. How can you tell these people this? And uh, it will not be war. The unfortunate thing is that they don't read things themselves. And they don't read the Bible to analyze what is there. They don't read. They only wait for people to read and tell them this. So whoever is telling you that will manipulate it to suit him or herself. Initially, when I used to go for catechism lessons, I, I used to think... Egypt was in the sky, Jerusalem was in the sky, and that the Bible dropped from heaven already made. It was later when I went to secondary school, I realized that people sat down to start composing them, mm -hmm. and there was editing and upgrading. They took some, put others in, did that for a long period to get to where we are today. And there was a meeting to decide what should be there and what should not be there. You know. So if people mm -hmm. have sat down to determine that, and even John, the Gospel of John says it that Jesus did a lot of things, all of which were not written. So if John has stated it there that 
it is not everything Jesus wrote, Jesus did which is written. It means they have left certain things out. Mm, Papa, let's leave it. Mm, okay. Do you have any social media handles? Oh, I'm not on social media. In fact, I'm BBC manipulating the Facebook and other things. Somebody has to teach me. Somebody I find it difficult to manipulate all that. Sometimes you, I try to post and I post one thing several times. But when I post, I don't know whether it is gone or not gone. <laughs> 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 okay, we'll talk about that <laughs> offline. <laughs> and now, yeah, we, but we are, we are coming up with a, a nice, beautiful series and we'll throw you in there. Okay. So I'll talk to All you right. about it. Thank you so much, Papa, for coming. Okay. I do appreciate Thank you, you so much. much. But go and do research about the Elohim. Elohim. When I am able to get through to Emmanuel mm. and he would want to sit with you so we dialogue, okay. it's not a, a, this, a debate or nothing. We just will go through what he said and then we put things together if you are able to come out still ask you about the elohims mm -hmm. so go and make research about it okay. and come and tell me who exactly created us as black people and I, how I, we I, were created i would i would go with the egyptian one uh, uh, that's what i'm saying go and find out okay. and when you come you come and give us and how we were created we want i want to know whether we were created like brodo or we were also created like i mean now so when you come okay. you come and share with us thank yeah, you so much okay. for thank coming you very much Abusia, we keep moving we keep delving till we get there uh, we have to uh, read a lot and we have to pick knowledge from every source and just say, yeah, yeah, static at one place. So every theory we get into it, the one that resonates with us, then we add up till we get through to our own origin. Thank you so much for watching your greatest platform, Macro. Shalom. <laughs>